Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. To my let's play of Pokemon Fire Red. We're going to do stuff today, so let's go. Hi, guys. I'm Street Eleven. <coughs> And welcome back to, let's hold on, Lavender Town, the number purple town. Welcome back to the, my Let's Play of Fire Red, like I've said in the beginning. So in today's part, we're going to be doing some things. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is getting, not going to Pokemon Tower yet, but getting my first Pokemon team member. And I want to make sure I healed my Pokemon. Yeah, two men's in front, the way I like it. Alright, so I trained, the, I battled the people on this, uh, this road, these three. And they gave me some experience. I think both uh, Green Guy and uh, uh, Chew Man evolved. So that's good. So in this patch of grass is where my next party member is. So I will meet you guys when I find it. So let's go! Love of God. <laughs> oh my god, there it is. Finally, so this is my next party member. A Growlithe. It is a fire Pokemon. And it looks really cool. It was, it, was, it, was, it was my favorite Pokemon during the show. And I was pretty mad that they only brought it in like a few episodes. But yeah, Growlithe, the Nobo Pokemon. And we're just going to do some small attacks on it. I don't want to kill. Oh my god, that was so close. Now you get a critical. But when I was facing those trainers, you decided not to get a critical, too, man. Thank you. Oh, paralyzed. Yes. Greater chance of catching it now. And I do have some... Uh, uh, great balls, so this should be easy to catch. Well, maybe not. Should I use a Pokeball? I'm gonna use my last Pokeball. Why not? Why not use it? Alright, come on. Get inside the Pokeball. Yes! Surprisingly, I caught it with Pokeball. I wasn't expecting to. And we're gonna name it something. Huh. What should we name this Pokemon? Oh, actually... I know what to name this guy. <laughs> Perfect. Hold on. And no, it's not Tigger. Jeez. I know that's such a typical name. I'm gonna name it Tigger, because I like that guy from that show, Winnie the Pooh, wasn't it? Yeah, come on. How can I not remember that? Yes, Winnie the Pooh had Tigger in it. Okay. Tiger. Tiger. Tiger what? <laughs> Tiger. Tiger what? What is this? Tiger. Tiger Drive? Tiger. Ah. Oh, dude, I'm just gonna call him Tiger Blast. Dude, I was trying to remember what Sagat's Fireball was, but whatever. Where's the B? Where's the L? Where's the A? Where's the S? And T. T, T, T. There we go, Tiger Blast. That's a really stupid name. But, why not? Okay. So, guys, let's head back to the... Freaking town. Hello guys, um, welcome back. So you're probably wondering now. So it's right now it's May 31st. Th that last clip you saw before the cut was recorded all very, very long time ago. You see what happened was after I recorded that, the emulator started freezing a lot and I couldn't record at all. And I got really really pissed. So this is like me right now at the present, okay? So yeah, and um, this is what I was going to do after that was show you guys the um, name raider because I didn't, because come on, you really think I'm going to name my uh, Pokemon Tiger Blast? I already have enough cheesy names for them. And I also hope you guys like the sidebars. They're uh, going to be a new thing now too. So, cause, cause I'm, I'm just starting out at it. I'm trying to find a way to, to make the video fit the whole thing. But I'm thinking about adding two sidebars on top, which I'm probably going to do. So anyways, let's get back to the game. So now we're in Lavender Town, and we cut our new Pokemon team member, which is, uh... I forgot the Pokemon's name. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter right now. We named him... <laughs> That's embarrassing. We named him Tiger Blast, which is not what I'm going to keep his name as. And why did I exit that? So, hello, hello, hello. I'm the official name writer. Want me to write the nickname of your Pokemon? So if you say yes, he goes, which Pokemon nickname should I critique? So pretty much what he does is he, with him, you're able to change the names of your Pokemon. Tiger Blast, is it? That is a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer nickname? 
How about it? And of course... Oh, good then. Uh, what shall the new nickname be? So I thought hard about this. And since I'm learning a little bit of Japanese, I'm thinking about naming him Great Tiger, which in Japanese is Sugoi Tora. So that's going to be his name, Great Tiger. Growlithe, thank you, um, text on top for telling me what it is. So I believe it's S. Where is you? Oh my god, I have such a hard time with these friggin' things. Okay, S-U-G. Dude, am I that blind? By the way, I went to the eye doctor recently and I do need glasses. So that further shows that I truly am blind. And I'm gonna spend 10 minutes on this. Come on, man. And I'm also talking. Okay, there's all. Okay, where is I? Come on, man. You can find I. Okay, and then T-O-R-A, I believe. Okay, T O R A. Okay, finally. And I'm also a little bit rusty on these controls because I've been playing Minecraft recently. So anyways, done from done. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Sigoi Tora. It is a better name than before. How fortunate for you. Uh, thank you, whatever. You have a funny beard. Anyways, so yeah, that is now the name of our Growlithe. And what we're going to be doing t in today's episode is going to this tower, which is called Wo Pokemon Tower, and is the become the spirits of Pokemon. It's basically a Pokemon graveyard tower thing. In the newer generations of the Pokemon game, they actually changed it to a radio station. I guess they're trying to be more nice. Nosha made the music a little bit more upbeat than before. So if we talk, I want to talk to some of these people, see what they're here for. I came here to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. Aw, that's sad, dude. Sniff. I'm a wash in tears. Aw, that's sad, man. I never knew Pokemon could actually die. When I was a kid, I couldn't really understand why, why they had a graveyard for Pokemon. When I was a kid, I didn't accept the fact that death was real, pretty much. So I always used to deny that this was a graveyard. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving loving heart. Dude, I can't even read text either. What does she need? My Growlithe, why did you die? Oh no, dude, I have a Growlithe too. That kind of creeps me out. I'm a channeler. Oh my gosh. These people are psychotic. I like, There's a whole bunch of them inside this tower that you... There's a whole bunch of them inside this tower that you have to battle. And there are a lot of wild Pokemon here. I believe one of the wild Pokemon... Oh my god. Yes, I completely forgot about this. Yep, we have to fight our rival one more friggin' time. Yes, hi, Yarg. Hey, Streets 11, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Okay, there's something very disturbing about how we sounded there. It's like I was really disappointed that my Pokemon was not dead. You know what, Yarg? You're very psychotic. Yeah, we're gonna battle you, dude. Even though I haven't played Pokemon in quite a while, I think I could, uh your ass and luckily Chuman's out right now so we have an electric advantage against his damn Pidgeotto which is not a Pidgeot yet I was about to call it Pidgeot that's super effective sand attack don't, don't use a sand attack crap on me dude why my head's itchy my head's always itchy during these recordings we're just gonna use another phone shot so I've been good and school's finally war is finally roaring down on the work it's putting on me you know, because we're, we're, now we're just studying for exams, and I, can, and I can find time to record while I'm doing that. I've also been trying to, you know, like I said, upgrade the quality of my videos. You know, make them like HD at sidebars, you know, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, and all that. And yeah, but recently in Toronto, we just had a shooting. This like 50-year-old kid got shot the other day, and Shoe Man died. <sighs> you know what? We're going to try our new Growlithe on him. Sugoi Tora. I'm gonna, that's going to be a mouthful, I'm telling you. So yeah, just recently, I believe, and my, my other friend also said that in his building, um, someone got shot right on top of him, but I don't know, it's kind of creepy. But it, it wasn't on the news, that's the thing, so I don't know if he's just telling lies and all that, but you know what? I don't really care. Oh, and also, next, next tom tomorrow is June, so this is the last day of May right now. Yeah, so I'm... Is he gonna attack first? You know what, I'm gonna heal up my, uh, my Growlithe. Cause I don't want him dying. Super potion. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. 
see, yeah, like I'm saying, um, so I haven't got. Why am I using it on Pikachu? Chu Man, my bad. So yeah, Pokemon. Uh, not Pokemon. Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS comes out. Uh, not tomorrow, but in June, which is tomorrow, and I can't freaking wait for that, man. I just saw their new trailer, and I'm super, super hyped. Zelda Ocarina of Time is one of my favorite Zelda games. I'm not going to be like these people that say, well, it's the best Zelda game, because, you know, I played it first. You can't really say that until you play the other ones. Do I want to switch? Of course I want to do. I want to send out Green Guy. I haven't seen this guy in so long. He probably hates me. So, yeah, that, that's when I'm going to finally get my 3DS, because my birthday passed, and... What I wanted was a 3DS, but I decided to wait for Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS to come out. Just in case they um have like some sort of offer with it. Which I believe in like Australia and stuff, it comes with like an Ocarina. But I'm not sure what North America is getting. I might Google that later. Yes, Google is a search engine that helps you find everything. Yeah, this Gyarados will eventually become a pain in the ass. Right now it's not that strong because the only real like hurting attack it has right now is Thrash. Plus, it confuses itself from the team it's idiotic. But trust me, later on, this Gyarados will piss the hell out of you. It's not even funny. Even if you have a Pokemon that can counter it and take it out, it's still going to be a pain in your ass. And I'm surprised at how fast I'm actually beating him. Should I change? Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch to... Yeah, I'm going to send out Sigurd Torda. Get some experience points for him. I hate that he's so under level right now. Execute. Execute. I never really understood how um, Execute can transform from an egg to a um, pineapple-like tree thing. It's it just shows you how random the uh, Pokemon designs are. And I still haven't beaten Pokemon Black, by the way. Even though it's been like two months since I bought the game, or has it been no two months since I bought the game? And that's pretty embarrassing. We're gonna send up Sammy. That's pretty embarrassing. What I've been doing is I've been EV training my um, Axial because I'm trying to get into professional Pokemon again. I used to be into like professional Pokemon when Diamond and Pearl came out, but uh, curse you, Hypnosis, you bitch, you son of a bitch. Oh yes, yeah, shed skin. I don't know how shedding your skin can make you wake up either, but it makes you wake up. So anyways, yeah, so I'm trying to get back into professional Pokemon, and yes, you flinching bastard, you better flinch. So yeah, once I start getting a team together, I'm going to be doing that again, and I might, once I get my 3DS, I might put my friend code out, so you guys can add me if you want. Yeah, you send out your Kadabra. This guy, this Kadabra also is going to be a pain in the ass later, let me tell you. I keep on talking about the future in the game. You know, I don't even remember what I, ha what I have to do next, honestly. I'm joking, I don't know what to do. But... The thing is, like, about this Pokemon game is, um, po the one thing, how did I friggin' die? How did I die? That's so dumb. Anyways, who cares, I died. So we're just gonna raise a and attack miss. That's, no. Does that, what does that do? What the hell is K Kinesis do? Okay, green guys, oh. What? I never. I. You know. I, I. I have no idea. Okay, I'm a little crazy right now. Cause I have the. What happened was my other mic broke again. I'm. You know. I'm thinking about getting a better mic. A, a new. A better design of mic. Cause the mics I, I'm buying for some reason always freaking breaking on me. So yeah. So anyways, now I have this like hat thing strapped to my head, which is, was what I what I originally used to um record, and I'm screwed. Cause why did I say no? Okay. Damn, damn, damn. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Okay. okay, sorry for that skip, guys. Um, My sister was getting cereal, and it was really noisy, so I just paused it for a minute. So anyways, let's just go back to this battle. So right now, I'm pretty much screwed, because I have, like, no Pokemon that are alive, and he decided to... And, and Yard decided to save his friggin' Charmeleon for last. And I really hope I have some... Um, okay. Now that is horrible. What the hell am I doing? Okay, you know what? I just gotta suck it up and fight the guy. Oh, wait. Sleep powder. Yes! I remember. I have sleep powder. This move saved me a lot of times. So there we go. We have 
and the guy obnoxiously driving by in his very, very, very annoying car. You think, and that's the guy I was talking about, I believe I talked about him last time, or in, in a video, but he always seems to love driving his car really fast with that really annoying engine, and the thing is, he always does it in the middle of the night also, while I'm trying to sleep, he's like, wah, wah, wah. so anyways, thanks to, this, thanks to this damn friggin' sleep powder, I would've been dead right now, and I'm stuttering. Why do I stutter when I record? That's what I notice a lot. See, I don't usually stutter the- Oh, man. That was close. See, I don't usually stutter in real life. I'm usually clear, but whenever I record, I guess it's because, you know, it's been a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm not even gonna mention the fact that I was gone for a long time, because I always mention it in the video. The next thing you know, I'm gone for, like, so long, it's not even funny. And green guy, green guy grew to level 34. You stinker. What? What? You stinker? And that epic holding his hand up like he's delivering food or something. You took it easy on- I- I took- ugh, Relax. I took it easy on you too. And yeah, give me your money, douche. Yes, I use that word. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Q-bone. Oh yeah, you can also catch Q-bone here too, by the way. I can't find a bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better be- I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you, bastard. Go F yourself, man. I don't even like you. Smell you later. He thinks he's so cool. Who uses the term? Smell you later. Like, honestly, who uses that term? Who? Can you name someone that uses that term? Because I sure as hell don't use that term. So anyways, guys. I know I pretty much accomplished nothing in this whole episode. But I am going to stop it here because the rest of this tower is going to be pretty long and I'm not going to have enough time to fit into a vi another video. So guys, in the next part we're going to be going through Pokemon Tower and finding out, finding out what mysteries lie in here. See you all next time on Pokemon Fire Red later.